Hey, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Whether you are a new subscriber or someone who's been here for many, many years, I want to thank you for being here. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing something that's been kind of weighing on my heart and my mind. I hadn't really thought about making this video until recently, but it's really been more, um, I don't know, sort of pressing on me that I feel like what. I don't know how you feel spiritually, okay? But um, just like somebody needs to hear this, and so it's like a video I feel like it needs to be made. Uh, so going forward with that, and I wish you could see how many times I started this video and uh, how many tries I've, tra I've tried, how many tries I've taken to start this video um, because I don't really know how to dive into it. So I try to make a little script for myself, which isn't normally my style, but I, I guess I'll just fly from the, the cuff on this one. Part of what made me want to make this video is that we've had so many um, years of uncertainty lately, you know, whether whatever your beliefs are about the pandemic or politics or whatever, there have been so many um, things that have been happening that uh, create uncertainty in life. And that really got me thinking, my nose was itching. All right, I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm not gonna edit it out because it's just real. Um, there have been so many things and it got me thinking about how I got to where I am today um, and what steps it took for me to get here. Because if you're just getting to know me and just getting to know my channel, you may not know my backstory, you may not know my history, and I wanted to share why I'm so passionate with everyone, with you, um, as far as it uh, coming as far as it comes to reselling and basically becoming self-sufficient. Um, I shared, this is maybe what spurred it on, is that I shared recently that I got engaged to Juan and some of my, uh, what do I call followers, watchers, whatever, um, friends of the channel mentioned like, oh, I didn't even realize that you were with your ex anymore. I didn't even realize X, Y, Z. Um, or that you weren't married or you uh, whatever so because I don't share a whole lot of like my personal stuff uh, out there sometimes I'll share a little bit here and there on Instagram as far as what's going on behind the scenes but I don't share a lot of personal personal stuff so I thought this would be <clears throat> a good time hopefully to bring um, encouragement and motivation to you whoever needs to hear it whether you're just starting your journey or whether you've been uh, at this and maybe need a little boost uh, into into the new year. So I am uh, happy to say that I am engaged. Juan and I are planning on getting married, hopefully very soon. Uh, we've been together a little over a year now and we've really combined forces as far as our reselling. Um, yeah, so that's really good news. But what I, what I really wanted to put out there today was a little bit about my backstory and why, again, why I'm so passionate about sharing um, just the journey and the steps to take to get yourself to a place where you can be self-sufficient. So again, whether you are already in that spot where you're moving forward, you're in a good place, you're you're getting your reselling goals, you're trying to you know become self-sufficient, or maybe you already are full time, you know this is just more motivation for that. But if you were like me and you were in um, some unhappy situations where you couldn't get out of them. Now, whether that could be in a, a relationship in your life, could be maybe you're in an employment situation that you're not happy with, or maybe your finances are just not where you want them to be, um, then this is definitely something that I hope you can take something away from. Just my story, because I am a firm believer that if I can do it, anybody can do it because, um, I came from, you know, not a reselling background. Uh, so I guess it's hard. I'm really kind of stalling, aren't I? Um, okay, so my a little bit about, about my background. My light just went out. Again, not going to edit. Don't want to because we're, we're all friends here, right? I don't need it. Do I need extra light? Maybe I do. The lights make the wrinkles go away if you're a YouTuber. So <laughs> there's a YouTube tip for you. If you start doing... If you start doing YouTube videos, the lights is your friend because it just like washes the wrinkles away. All right, well, we'll just go with it. So um, I struggled a lot in my youth uh, and I dropped out of high school. I did end up going back to school. I got my GED. I went back to school and got a degree eventually. 
in educa education. And so I taught school, elementary school, for 14 years. Now, the start of that was fantastic. I loved it. But by the end of it, it really became a challenge for me. Um, I'm not so good <laughs> at taking direction. And I'm not, I'm personally not good with deadlines. And this is something I really learned about myself is that, uh, yeah, I'm not good with deadlines. And I get really stressed out because I have such high expectations for myself and my, and my performance. And I want to do well. And so it got really stressful. Now, um, when my eldest was going into kindergarten, I was able to stop working and stay home and be a full-time mom with my ex. And at first it was okay, but then I very quickly realized that I've been so independent as far as having my own money. And that was just how I was raised to always take care of myself and not depend on somebody else, which, you know, it's fine if you have a great partnership and you don't have to worry about that. But, but the history of my family though and some of the women in my family it has not been a great situation all the time when they didn't have their own income so i'll let your imagination go there um, but it makes it hard if you're in a bad situation or challenging or just not happy that you can't leave you can't get out of that and i Again, I, you have one life, you have one life to live and you don't want to live it unhappy, right? So <clears throat> it didn't, that part didn't occur to me until a little, a few years later. But when I started um, staying home, I realized like, I'm very uncomfortable with this. I don't like not having, I don't like having to ask somebody for money. And so it was really hard for me to go to my now ex-husband and ask, you know, can I have money to go to Starbucks and get a coffee? Because there's that then it changes the whole dynamics of a marriage or a relationship to, you know, someone can say yes, someone can say no, and it's like, I'm a grown up, I'm an adult. So I started reselling at that point, and I literally started with like $32, $35 in my pocket. And I would go out, I would go to garage sales, um, and I would buy stuff, I would flip it, and then I would put $32, $35, it was under $40 in my little coin purse again and I would go with that and any profit I made would just go right back into my my pocket my bank and so going forward it slowly started to accumulate into more money and again my goal at the beginning was just like $200 a week so that I could not have to ask anybody for money and it's just started snowballing and getting bigger and bigger. Um, and probably after the first six months to a year is when I started the YouTube channel, which again, I recommend everybody do, whether you like to be on camera or not. My early, early videos, you'll see that I am a little mousy mouse and I'm like barely able to look at the camera and it really has done a lot, you know, as far as my confidence and whatever. And then financially as well. So I recommend it to everybody. As, and I'm sure other resellers are probably, stop, we don't need more competition. There's so many reselling channels out there. I don't care <laughs> because there's a, there's a, there's a lid for every pot, you know, not everybody's into everybody and whatever. Okay. So where was I? Here we go. ADD. Oh. So anyway, at this point, um, fast forward a couple years where I'm starting to make a little bit better income. Still, I would not have been able to, to branch out on my own. <clears throat> but I could see kind of the writing on the wall without getting into too many details. So at that point, um, I just started adding in more streams of income. So I was selling online, eBay and Etsy only at the time. I was starting my YouTube channel, which was bringing in maybe $100, $200 a month early on. And then um, I started doing print on demand stuff, which also I could start for free. Anything I could do, I'll link another video here where I talk about some of the different ways I bring in money. But any way I could do it where it didn't cost me anything, to, it didn't cost me anything, you know, because that, that was big, because I was really trying to just build up to where I was getting enough income to maybe <laughs> make a break at some point. Um, and that was a really hard place to be. You know, again, without giving any details about what happened or whatnot. Um, but it took at that point, probably two or three years for me to get to the point where I could say I could do this on my own. I could I could branch off and do this on my own. Um, and then we ended up moving. <clears throat> pardon me. We ended up moving to Austin. And uh, and that's when we ended up making our split. Right. And I was very grateful to the work I put in. Uh, and it's, 
very satisfying to be able to say that. I know, I don't know if it's our culture or a woman thing, or it's like just to praise yourself. Like it's not something that I'm comfortable with really. But at, at that point I was able to say like, I built this. I did this, you know, I, there's no boss above me taking the credit. There's nobody I'm answering to every day when I got up to do work or to, to, to flip things or to create shirt designs or to make a video. I knew what my goal was. Yes. I was having fun with it, which made me really happy, you know, that I was able to do things that I enjoyed doing and I was able to start bringing in an income. I can't tell you, you know, again, whether you're in a bad employment situation, your finances are bad or, or maybe in a bad relationship, like how satisfying it is to be able to say, I don't need somebody else. I don't need a boss. I don't need, you know, a bank to give me a loan. I don't need a, a, you know, a partner, a spouse or whoever, you know, that I have to put my hand out to. Maybe it's a, a family member that you're having to borrow money from all the time. You know, it's super frustrating, you know, cause you're just trying to get ahead. Um, so the reason I tell this story is that is, is for encouragement because again, if I can do it, you can do it. And just to continually keep putting one foot in front of the other continually, you know, and just have faith in the process. It took me probably longer than it might take you because, you know, I was a stay at home mom. And so I was also very involved in my kids schooling. And then I also became a homeschooling mom shortly after that. So then it really um, ate into the time that I could take to start making uh, more of a profit and make this more of a viable self-employment situation. So if you don't have, you know, if you're not homeschooling your kids and you've got your kids at school or maybe you're an empty nester, you don't have kids at all, you're retired, you know, then this is something that you could probably ramp up way quicker than I did. Um, Because like I said, probably from... Well, I've been doing this almost 10 years now. And so probably the first six years, three years, I was just kind of, I didn't have these kind of goals. The last three years I had these goals where I like, okay, it's time to really ramp this up. So it probably took me literally like three years. It went from when I really got focused on it. Um, but it might, again, probably would take somebody else less time because, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I started homeschooling my kids. And so my attention was really split as far as, you know, my kids, my kids are a priority. So sorry, not sorry, not sorry. Um, and so even still, pardon me, even today, I feel like, well, I could be doing so much more. I could be making so much more money or, you know, whatever, listing more, making more videos or, but you know, when school's in session, like my kids are the priority, that's just the way it is. So that being said, I wanted to make this video as hopefully an encouragement to anyone out there that is, is in like a situation that they're trying to move forward from, um, or break out of that, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And sometimes you just have to believe it's there and keep moving towards it. You know, maybe it's just a little pinprick right now, but, um, just keep moving towards it. I had, um, if you know who Chris is, he has a channel called daily refinement. And I joke, we joke about this because he asked me to come and talk to some of his members about jewelry reselling. And I didn't, I didn't prepare cause I, I know him generally, you know, like I've talked to him a few times and I felt pretty comfortable. Like, oh, really? I need to prepare. What am I going to prepare? I either know it or I don't know it. And I'll say one way or the other, but he really, um, struck me with one of the questions that I just wasn't prepared for. And he said to me, Margaret, I'm going to tear up because it really did. It's like stuck with me. He said, Margaret, how are you so brave? And I was like, what are you talking about? This is the craziest question. What do you mean by that? He said, you don't understand. There's something along these lines. I'm paraphrasing. You don't understand. Like, Some people don't just jump in and try things like there's a serious fear of failure. Um, And I guess because I had such goals for myself, I never really considered that. I just thought, you know what, you just try it and you just keep trying until you get better, you know, and you keep focusing on different aspects until you get better. And so that's why, you know, I, I was really nervous to start a YouTube channel. And I'm sure if you haven't, and you've been kind of toying with the idea, um, 
it, it's kind of scary because there are people, they, my sister would say like, I don't know, I, I'm worried people are going to say bad things or mean things to me if I make a channel. I said, don't worry, they will. Absolutely. <clears throat> You're going to fail. And I guess just getting comfortable with that, getting comfortable with like, it's not going to be perfect right off. And you're going to have to take it as a learning experience. So creating print on demand stuff, I had no idea anything about print on demand. I am not a designer. I'm not an artist. I'm not a designer, nothing. But Joe Clay and Glenn Zubia and Yong were just constantly like, Margaret, you've got to get on this. There's so much money here. You've got to do this. You've got to do this. And so I just slowly, I just started watching a little video here. Okay, easy. I'm like easy shirt designer, easy programs, easy, like as easy as I could make it and just baby stepped it, baby stepped it, you know? And so, um, like I said, that, that question took me off guard, but because I never really saw myself that way as brave because um, I had such goals. And so I just wanted to put that out there for you that um, if you have something that you're kind of like, I, I know there's money there. I know it takes time, you know, it's going to take that time one way or the other. Um, so might as well just, you know, make that first step because each little step is going to get you closer and closer and closer, whether it's, whether it's, you know, creating a, a YouTube channel, listing on more platforms, creating shirt designs, figuring out, you know, affiliate marketing because there's money there too. Um, all of these different ways, just take that one little baby step in the right direction. Hey, the lights joined us again. <laughs> ah, I see the light. Okay. Um, I hope that this video was encouraging and helpful. That was my goal here today. Um, I Because I do. I do want that for you. I want success for you. I want independence for you. Whether financial independence or emotional or security. I want that for you because having not had that for so many years and now having it and having that freedom, I, I can't imagine ever going back to a situation where I worked for a boss that I couldn't stand going to work or being in a relationship where I, I just didn't like myself every day. I didn't like my life every day. I can't imagine because life is so short, you guys, you just don't know. I say, I feel like I'm saying um a lot here, but I'm really, I'm not going to edit this. So I, I really want you to see my sincerity here. I really want that for you. And it is attainable. It is achievable and you can do it. And I'm not a motivational speaker and I feel really cheesy right now, but I mean it. So I hope you enjoyed, whether you enjoyed it or not, uh, I hope you took something away from it. And I hope the best for you. And I will see you on the next video. Lots of love, you guys.